Welcome to the Text Mesh Typer tutorial in Unity by Peerplay. With the implementation of Text Mesh Pro in Unity 5.6, I made a typing effect. It's quite simple but effective. This is a scene that I made to show you an example of the result of this tutorial. We can start a sequence of multiple text meshes with different settings, set different alignments and different typing speeds. If you love PeerPlay 2, you can support me on Patreon and get access to this complete scene, including the custom camera movement and player mechanics. Start a new empty project and browse in the asset store to the Text Mesh Pro asset. It's available for free and import it into your project. Now once the asset has been imported, go to Game Object. 3D game object and select the Text Mesh Pro. Now scroll down in the inspector and go to Add Component and we'll type Text Mesh Typer. And we'll add this as a new script to this object. Now before scripting out our Text Mesh Typer, let's add to the scene a cube and a sphere. So, sphere, put it a little bit more to the top. And let's add a cube and we'll set its size to 25, 8. Perfect. Now let's also add a material to the cube. Let's call this ground. Make it color red. Put it onto the cube so we can see it a little bit better. And select this text and place it just in front of the cube there. All right. Put it onto there. Great. Now let's also add a rigid body to the sphere. Now if we play it, the sphere should fall onto the cube. And we want to make that if the sphere hits the cube or hits an area here, that the text here is going to be activated. And to do that, we are going to add a box collider onto the Text Mesh Pro. So let's add a box collider here. And we'll have to set its position. So let's say that its uh, Z value is about 10. We'll put it back about oh, 5 the other way. And put it up a little bit more. Doesn't have to be this thick, so let's make it put it around here. And it should be a trigger. And now we're all set up to start working on our text mesh typer script. And we first need to use the library of the text mesh pro. And because our script cannot work correctly without the text mesh pro, we will say a require component in front of our class. Now we need to get and set some things onto the text mesh pro components, so we will add here a text mesh pro and we'll reference it and we'll say that this is the text mesh and in our start function we will say that the text mesh is get component text mesh pro now we are going to create an array of strings of each individual character of the text in the text mesh pro component. So we'll say here that string array is called text character. And the length of this string should be the length of the amount of characters in the text mesh text. So let's say in the start function that the text character is a new string and the length of it should be the text mesh dot its text dot its length. Now for each character in the text string we create a substring in the text character array so we can later iterate through that. So let's create a new for loop for int i is 0 and if i is less than the text mesh dot its text dot its length then we're going to add one to the for loop and the text character 
of its position in the for loop is equal to the text mesh dot its text and now we'll create a substring and in the substring we can say a start index and that will be in the for loop the position and we'll say the length of this substring will be one character long and because we don't want to see the text before it's being typed then after the for loop we will um, set the text mesh dot its text to empty and to show that this really works we will make this a public for a moment save the script and go back to unity so we've got here the sample text we will type here hello world and if we play then the text disappears and in the text character you see for every character and also the break there's another element now back in the script we will set the string to private again now let's add a new public boolean and this boolean will be is active because we want to activate our script when some event happens so in the update we will say that if is active is true then do the iteration process now for this script to work we need a few more variables and the first one we need is a public float and we'll call this time in seconds so we can specify how fast our iteration process will be going for each character and the next thing we need is a private float and we'll call this timer and the third one we need is an integer and we'll call this the character count so we know which character we want to add of the string array text characters now in the start function we will say that the character count is equal to zero and also the timer is equal to zero as well now inside the update we will start the iteration process by starting with an if statement if the character count is less than the text characters dot its length we'll say here that timer plus is time dot delta time and if the timer is higher or equal to the time in seconds then we want to add text to the text mesh so go to the text mesh dot text is equal to no it's plus e equal to the text character and its index should be the character count now we will increase after that the character count we'll say plus plus which is equal to plus is one and we'll say that the timer is equal to zero now this will repeat itself because the here the time will be increased and if it's equal to the time in seconds it will do this reset it and get another character and keep doing it until all the characters are filled in now if the character count is equal to the character length then this script should stop but we might want to check if this object has a child object on which we can activate another text mesh so we'll say here that if this transform dot its child count is higher than zero or otherwise if it has a child we'll speak to this transform dot its cat child uh, zero the first child get component text mesh typer and we'll set it is active is going to be true and we only want to set this active for just one time so let's set the character count plus plus now we only need to set up an event to make this 
go to active. So let's create a new void on trigger enter because we want the when the ball hits our trigger then this should become active. So we'll say collider call and then if the collider dot get component has a rigid body then is active is true. And that's the complete code. We can save the script and go back to Unity. Let's test it out. We've got here the text mesh typer. It's not active at the start. And we'll have to specify how fast this will type. So we'll, let's say uh, 0 0.1 second. And if we play, we can see a typing text. Now, if you would like to have uh, multiple texts, then you can copy this one, put a little bit down, make it a child object, and this one doesn't need to have a uh, box collider, so we can remove that, and we'll set here a text uh, by world, and this one is not active either, so. that works too and you can of course play with uh, the different settings of the alignment from the right or from the left and you can obviously extend the script with an untrigger exit where you would reset the values now this comes to the end of this tutorial I hope this is useful to you in some way I'd like to remind you that you can get this complete example project on my Patreon with some level building blocks, camera movement and player movement. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated with new videos, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and happy coding!